Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is my review for Love and Marriage Huntsville. This is season two, episode 16. Okay, but let's get started with the first things. If you have not done so already, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel to become a whole J Bird, J Bird, dun 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 dun, and all that goodness and stuff. Okay. Do not forget to like this video, comment in the comment section, hit the share button to share it on your social media. You can also follow me on IG and Twitter at J underscore Lee's underscore corner. The link to all of my social media is where in the description box below, okay? Do not forget to relax, to relate, to release, to center yourself and everyone around you. Also, inhale and exhale because sometimes we forget to breathe it on out and whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So, we see the first uh, part of it. Marcel and Maurice sitting around, chitting, chatting, okay? Tisha is still out of town. Wanda... Uh, took the kids to wherever she lived or whatnot because again, Marcel was supposed to be on a little little trip, um, camping, but he got to the accident, so he's at home. So when Maurice came over to check on his brother, and they at the table talking or whatever, you're like, "What's you okay? Yeah, my stomach hurts." I'm like, oh, "What your stomach hurting? Was it internal bleeding? Do you need a, a CT scan, an MRI, a, a ultrasound? What's going on there, whatever?" But they sit down and chit chat or whatever. Maurice kids, you know the camping trip was fun. We had a whole campfire chit chat. You know what I'm saying? We Martel talked and was honest about things in his life. You know what I'm saying? He brought up his kids and this and that. And Marceau, of course, who has heard the rumors that Martel possibly has a baby on the way. Well, how many kids does he have that he was talking about? And Maurice know Marceau was trying to get him to tell the, the secret or whatever. But Marce, Marce, girl, Maurice say he's a whole vault. He's not going to say nothing. He does say, well, maybe you should talk to Martel. You know, y'all friends, nah. Y'all working on a whole little plan or whatever, the little the little acres or whatnot. Y'all can chit-chat or whatever about what if you got going on because he needs some friends right now. And Marcel like, ah. I hear rumors, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Nick, neck, patty, wreck, I want a bone. Um, he also brings up how he does not know if he really wants to work with Martel. He said Martel has a whole lot going on right now. And he feels like Martel is trying to bounce back too quick without really letting everything that's going on finish going on. I agree with Marceau. What he means is Martel has more bricks falling that needs to hit the ground before he starts building back up his wall, okay? He trying to build a wall up as the bricks are falling. No, let it all fall, let it all fall apart. Then build it back up brick by brick or whatever. So it was that little conversation. Um, we then see, you know, Mel at home with her kids and she's pouring affirmations and positivity into her children. Y'all are beautiful black kings and queens. Your hair was beautiful even if you have a different texture or different gray. Like if, if your hair is curly, your hair is straight, and yours is wavy, or yours is kinky, or whatever it may be, you know, you are beautiful, you are amazing black queens and black, black kings. You know what I'm saying? That is what y'all is. She's pouring positivity of their children as I hope all parents do okay now she then has some call for whatever else she then gets on her phone boom bow and she calls Tisha okay because while she does not agree with how Martel handled the first time he seen Wanda after she said what she said about his kids now I hadn't seen it yet until today um, cause I, saw, I looked, looked it up on you, on YouTube and Martel had posted a clip of what she said. The only clip I saw of her talk about the kids, she was saying how I don't want Tisha and Marceau taking my grandkids to still be friends with to play with Martel and Melanie kids because they can then grow up or be kids or whatever. And her kids can be jealous of the other kids, maybe because of how they look, maybe because one kid has longer hair. So she was saying that Martel and male kids could be jealous of Marceau and Tisha's kids and then be mean to them. I'm looking like, 
you old dirty bitch. I mean, why do that at all? Why that was an innocent, rude, unnecessary comment saying that kids can, can be jealous of other kids, it was still uncalled for. Either way. So, Wanda, shut up. But Tisha called, not Tisha, Mel called Tisha to discuss some things because, again, she don't like how Martell handled it, but she also does not appreciate Wanda saying it in the first place. And so, she called Tisha to say, you know, I did not appreciate your mother, you know, saying what she said about my kids on social media. Tisha, I can't believe, I don't, my mama said that, I can't believe she would do that. That is out of character for her. I'm like, no the fuck it ain't. Tisha, you are a bald face and Tisha, don't be a liar your whole life. And Mel looking like, bitch, are you kidding me? Is everyone knows that's how Wanda is. So, Tisha is full of shit. All up with her body, her mind, her spirit. Tisha is full of shit, okay? Anyway, Tisha ignores the fact that what she should have did was apologize for what your mama said on social media about this lady kids. Period. Even if you say, you know, I didn't hear my mom say that, but if she did, I apologize because that would have been inappropriate. But Tisha's a child. Tisha don't think like an adult. Tisha is 15 years old and a 13-year-old's body who has the brain of a 7-year-old. And she irks my goddamn nerves. Anyway, she then invites Mel, or at least Mel kids, to an event that she's having called Hey Brown Girl. And it's to, you know, just, just discuss... And, and, and embrace chill because it's for kids okay, it's for it's little girls and it's to help them embrace their differences as all you know brown skin girls and different skin tones different hair textures or whatever all their things to be supportive of the kids or whatever oh that's a great okay cool Tisha then say you know she's going to text Mel and or Martel to bring the kids. She's like, well, didn't you say it's a girl's event? Like, I would bring my girls. You don't need to text Martell. Oh, well, no, I know sometimes you drop the kids off. Like, if you want to just drop the kids off. She's like, no, 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 no. I would not be, you know, just drop my kids off at some event. No. Send me the information and if we can't, we will be there. I'm my like, girl. Could Tisha always suggest about a fucking event that she don't have no information on? I mean, she be planning shit and she talk about it too early. But again, our man was like, she just so full of shit. I can't take it or whatever. Anyway, we then see, you know, uh, now Marcel with the house. Tisha back home, Wanda then came over too. So it was a conversation between all of them, okay? Now, when Marceau brings up his accident, <clears throat> and how it made him realize that, you know, we have to do more in life. We can't be just out here not doing nothing or whatever. Um, life is too short, like, to not leave an imprint to help whoever for whatever reason. He brought up Stacey Abrams who, you know, lost her her run for governor, but then still helped the the presidency get to Biden and, and Kamala, okay? So again, he like, you know, we have to be better, you know, and do more, okay? We have to do more. I'm like, whatever, Marcel. Anyway, um, when she asked, well, how did you my mom, my mom girl? When she asked him how did he and her mother get along, he like, you know, she brought through the kids with her and saying she don't respect boundaries. I felt like I was fighting for my life, okay? It was just bull of the shit or whatever. And teacher didn't say, well, she has custody of three of them kids. I'm looking like, who gave Wanda custody of three children? Girl, he, she gonna ruin them girl. She, who, why give, she gonna ruin them kids? CPS, please watch this show. Take them kids. Well, no, I don't want kids in the system. But I'm just saying, I'm Wanda not a good girl. She's unfit. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? He like, look, your mama is difficult or whatever. Then Wanda walks in with who? All them kids. Um, They bring up his accident, okay? Um, Wanda then say, it's funny that you would go on a trip right before uh your wife come back. Why won't you just wait? You know what I'm saying? And maybe you was really in a car with somebody fussing, and that's how you crash. I'm like, well, he like, well, if I was in the car with someone else, wouldn't y'all know by now? And I say, Marcel, I don't know. Okay? So then, you know what I'm saying? He like, it's, it, you you being dumb. Well, I'm going to find out because me and teacher going to go get the police report. I'm like, girl, and teacher then say, mama, do you think I would be with him if he was cheating on me? And she said, well, I, no, I don't. But I don't think you know if he was cheating on you. So your daughter's dumb. 
She dumb dumb Diddy Wanda. I think she dumb dumb Diddy Wanda. Anyway, so she then rings up how no, she then tells Tisha that Marceau told her that Kimmy said she is not nobody's any more events, okay, because for antics. She then said, I don't care what Marceau think of me. I don't care what Kimmy think of me. Either I'm going to be and act the same way until the day that I die. I say, please don't do that, Wanda. Don't do that. Anyway, Marceau, then your mama up and trying to come between. She wants us to fuss and fight. And she do. Wanda is a messy bitch. Tisha, you should get that. But she doesn't either. So Wanda then said, you ain't gonna speak down to me, okay? Like you do to my daughter, like when you told her that y'all are from different sides of the track. I'm like, but they are from different sides of the track, okay? What does that matter? And he then said, well, I wasn't saying anything against Tisha, okay? I was saying it against you, Wanda. I'm thinking like, ooh. <laughs> Marceau and Wanda's girl is crazy. So now Wanda want to leave. Wanda's upset. Oh, Marceau was being me. Oh, Marceau was being rude. I'm here helping y'all watch your kids. I'm like, that's true. That is 100% true. However, Wanda, that don't mean that you're not a fucked up individual. Because you are a fucked up individual, Wanda. Yes, you are. Anyway, so... You know, he like, I thought you was leaving. You know, you can leave the same way you came in. The doors, that away. Anyway, the next time I'm watching y'all kids, bring them to me. I ain't coming here no more. She lying. She gonna always be there. Now, Tisha is fussing with Marceau in front of the mama and in front of one of the kids. Like, you can't be acting like that. My mom, I'm like, your mama not innocent. Don't fuss with your husband as if your mama didn't start shit between you and your husband. Girl, what is wrong? Tisha is going to be a lonely, divorced woman if she keeps letting her mama interfere in her personal life and her marriage. She's going to be lonely, divorced, with no friends. Okay, because her mama is causing fights between her and her husband. Her mama then leaves, and Tisha then asks myself, and why were you driving your sports car and not your uh, work truck? Because Wanda asked that question early. He said, because I have a sports car. Like, why would I take my work truck camping? And I was like, I mean, I feel like you drive whatever car you have. So, I don't think that's a bad thing or whatever. If you, if it's only other car, the sports car, he wants to drive his car, what does that matter? Because he could have still crashed his work truck. I don't need that be. Anyway, um, but again, Wanda's causing bullshit. And he said, because it's my car. Duh. I'm like, mm, mm, mm. I'm not saying Marceau isn't cheating. I'm not saying he is cheating. What I'm saying is, Tisha is letting things her mama say in her head to make her question her husband, which then cause fights. Hence, your mama trying to do what? Come in between us. Girl, bye. Okay? Now, we then see Martel. Martel meets up with Chris. Chris, to me, is always dressed like a mortician or like a funeral director. Like, it's always somebody his suit screams, I'm going to the funeral parlor to make sure the Johnsons are doing okay. It's just weird to me. I'm going to leave that be. Anyway, so Martel and Chris chit-chat or whatever, and he just tells Chris, like, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm going through the whole divorce right now, you know what I'm saying? So it's like some illegal thing I got to handle a little nice, and I can't really close no deals. I can't make no moves. I can't move no money. I can't sell any properties. He's like, you can't sell the properties? He's like, nah, you know, that includes the 47 acres. He was like, <sighs> shit. Oh, shit. I was like, oh, he's upset or whatever, okay? He like, that's not good. That's, that's not good at all. You know what I'm saying? This could create more legal issues if things don't go through. Meaning the people they working with and working for on this property could sue them for holding up the deal. He like, you know, this can get can get real bad. This is what happens when you do dumb shit. Martel don't have any idea. Him being selfish and just out here all willy-nilly cheating on his wife has affected everything in his life. Everything. Your family, your business, your friendships, because you could not keep your dick in your pants. Or just divorce your wife and move on. And now all the chickens are coming home to roost. Anyway, so that was it. You were saying, because he's being dumb, 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 dumb.
and stuff, okay? Now, we then see over at Tisha's event. I hate that she say event. I'm like, it's event. What the fuck is an event? Girl, like, it's not an evite. I'm gonna leave that be. Anyway, so she's having a little thing, you know what I'm saying? That celebrating being a brown girl or whatever. All the little kids, all the little girls running around. It was real cute, you know what I'm saying? Mel does get there for her daughters or whatever. We do see one little girl who was lighter complected. And she brought up how, you know, people tell me that I'm not as black because my skin is lighter or whatever. And I tell them I am black because I'm not a color. I was like, oh, that was so cute. Okay. We Another little girl who was like on um, video and she was saying how because when she would color, they would, these are like little girls, like, you know, 10 and under. So, you know, she's like, no, I will color and I couldn't find a crayon to color my skin. So, I made some crayons that's different colors for black. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. I was like, it's so amazing. And now, Tisha and her cousin who helped her do the event, they said all oh, these great positive things or whatever. I think a good time was had by all. Oh, boom, pow, pow. And the kids then went over and, you know, was like covering and stuff. And now we see the ladies sit around and shit on the chat. So, Kimmy's there. Of course, Tisha, Mel, and Destiny. Okay. Now, Kimmy and Destiny are cool now. They don't have issues anymore or whatever. And they're hoping to help Mel and Tisha squash their beef, okay? So Destiny brings up how she wants to plan a girls' retreat trip for the ladies. For them to, like, you know, kind of regroup. You know what I'm saying? Uh, get closer and kind of fix any fragile, broken bonds in between the four of them. Which just means get Mel and Tisha back together. Um, Tisha walks up. Well, no. Excuse me. Sorry, before Tisha walked up, uh, Mel agreed to go on a trip. Okay, yes, I'll go. It's fine or whatever. Then Tisha walks up. You know, so what's going on? So, you know, they say, hey, I want to have a, a little group or whatever. A group retreat. Do you want to come? I want to invite you too. Oh, well, who's all going to be there? And they was like, everyone that's sitting right here. Meaning, you know, male too. Oh. Well, how long will it be? Will it be about about three days? Well, I don't I don't know about that. I can't do three days or whatever. She then says to us, the audience or whatnot, that Mel is a mean girl who never wants on her shit. And Kimmy doesn't support her at all. So she don't think it's a good idea for her to go. I'm like, bitch. <sighs> Tisha don't get that she's the eyeball out. Tisha don't get this trip will happen even if you don't go. No one wants to beg you for shit. And for you to make it seem as if you are not a, you're not a mean girl, but you don't own your shit, okay? You don't support anyone either, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? You are a pick me, love me, help me, love me, be with me person. You want everyone to cater to you. You are a needy ass bitch. And I feel like it's because her mama wasn't there when she was growing up. That's the same reason she allows her mama to be so messy because she does not want her mama to go away. Okay, Patricia, no one's gonna beg you for shit. Okay, you're boring. Leave us be. She looks great. I love her hair. Or whatever, but I'm gonna be. Um, anyway, you know, she then said, can we drive our own car? Like, I don't want I don't think that we should all ride together in case someone wants to leave. I'm like, if you want to leave, bitch, Uber home. Bye, call Marceau. Um, Mel gets up and walks away because Tisha is being petty and childish. The questions you're asking before you say yes, you will come is team too much. Again, they are going even if you don't go. But you gonna go because you don't want to be left out. But I'm like, look, it just, it was dumb. Now, I don't want to be going and fighting. So, can we have, like, rules and guidelines? I'm saying, can we do it? they like, you need to, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> they say, you need to say word. You know what I'm saying? If, if things get too heavy, what, you know, pineapples. Pineapples. I'm like, Tisha, just don't go then, boo. Just stay home. I'm like, it's, it's dumb because they trying to fix shit. And Tisha's being messy, messy boots, okay? So, Mel then come back over and say, Tisha, can we talk real quick? 
over here. Um, and they walk over several and talk, you know, thanks so much for the evite, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> evite. For the invite, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you say, it was a great positive event, you know what I'm saying? But I came, Tisha, to move forward. I came to move forward to not have any negativity. And, you know what I'm saying, you and this conversation with the trip, it is just really a negative vibe. Oh, really? I don't think I did. Did you? Yes, yes, you were that. Yes, you were, and she was. And I appreciate Mel being honest. Like you know, I was trying to like let things go, move forward. But your vibe, your comments, your rebuttals was negativity to the circle. I don't like that. Okay, Tisha, bring up. We well, you know the last trip we had. You know what I'm saying it went left, but bitch, that ain't that ain't now. Don't bring up the last trip when they're trying to move forward from all the shit in the past, okay? Tisha, grow the fuck up, okay? Anyway, Mel said, look, I'm trying to not have any negative vibes in my life. I'm saying, I don't want any negativity. Like, I don't want to have any negativity, girl, <laughs> any negativity on this trip. None of that will come from me, okay? Is that fine? And so they both agree, you know, that's fine or whatever. Kimmy and Destiny walk up. They was talking. I wasn't listening. They ended in a group hug that no one wanted besides Destiny or whatever. But I was, they both were saying, Destiny and Kimmy was saying how they were. It was some positive shit, but I wasn't listening. Okay, but I'm happy, you know, the, con the conversation ended with everyone in a good mood. And they're going on the retreat that we will see next week. Okay, and then lastly, Martel goes to visit his mama. Okay. Um, he takes the kids over there to visit my, my mama, and they laughing and making cookies or whatever. Okay, while well, the cookies cook, kids go in the room, let me talk to grandma. Okay, they go in the room. <sighs> he starts complaining, and they talk about him and Mel. I'm tired of her going on social media and talking about me and how I cheated and saying the kids ask me if I have a girlfriend because mommy told them that. I, I'm like, I don't see Mel some of her kids that their father has a girlfriend i see male maybe talking to whoever else and the kids may hear her talking and they say oh mama said daddy had a girlfriend but i don't think she told the kids that and he should know that he should know that okay but he's stupid okay he then say it makes me want to tell the kids that mommy has a boyfriend but mommy doesn't have a boyfriend. You, however, have a bitch pregnant. So you do, in fact, have a girlfriend. Martel, you are full of shit. You are an asshole. You deserve whatever hurt comes your way. Because you keep trying to spray mail in a negative light when you are the one who did wrong. And what makes you look worse is you're trying to do this just because you don't want to look like the asshole that you are. But you don't realize that you are burning bridges as you're trying to spray mail with gasoline. Okay, the the, the, the gasoline you, you're trying to shoot at mail is burning you up. Not her. No one believes you. Because he then said, you know what I'm saying, mail wants to accuse me of cheating, talk about me cheating, when she did the same thing. She cheating on me. I'm just like, no one believes that. No one. Your mama don't. Because your mama didn't even, when the mama said, well, what about the rumors about you having a baby on the way? She did not even want to discuss smell because she know you lying. She know her son. Okay, anyway. The mama say, look, Mel is hurt. You see, you have to get, Mel is hurt and you should not want to have your kids resenting both of y'all. Meaning, let her say what the fuck she won't say on social media because you hurt her. Don't you dare tell your kids that mommy has a boyfriend because you would then have the kids hating both of y'all. Don't be dumb. Okay? Don't be dumb. What is happening with her is probably eating her alive. She's probably that hurt. Leave her be because you did this to her, son. Okay? Anyway, when she asked about the rumors, he then said, well, yes. The other girl is pregnant. And the mama was like, oh, wow, okay. The mama broke down, you know what I'm saying? This is overwhelming, you know what I'm saying? It breaks my heart. I still love Mel. She is still my daughter-in-law. I would not want to see her hurt. And it hurts me that it breaks my heart to see her have to go through this. I'm saying, I will always love her. He didn't say, yeah, 
It breaks my heart too. I'll always love you. I'm just like, motherfucker, you did it. You, <laughs> you did this. So what breaks your heart? You went out and kept fucking someone and got them pregnant. I'm like, the fuck? You are a psychopath. Period. Okay, the mom still starts crying. I think the mama feel this way because Martell Daddy did this to her. Martell Daddy hurt her. So she's probably remembering the hurt and pain she felt when her husband betrayed her. And now my son did that to his wife, to a woman I love. She's my daughter-in-law. I love her. And when your mother cares that much about your wife that when she is emotionally hurt, you know you fucked up. Your mama crying because you cheating on your wife and you have ruined your family and now have created a new baby that has been brought into this mess you did that okay you did that she brings up how you know if it was me if this was me it would hurt me and so, so i i hate seeing her go through this because again she will always be my daughter-in-law but it hurts me because she's hurting and you did it. You did it, Martell. She's like, y'all are so good together. Y'all built so much together. Maybe, you know, fans can, you, you never know what could happen in the future. Mel ain't gonna never. Ne she would ne she should. She should never take him back. Simply because of the smear campaign he's trying to do on her to save him. Okay? Um, he thinks, you know, it'll all get better. It'll all get better. I mean, either Eventually, we know it will. Because eventually, everyone will move on. That don't mean the currentness of it all isn't fucked up, okay? Um, he says it hurts him that he has hurt his mom. Oh, that hurts you. But not the fact that you hurt your wife and your children. And God knows how hurt the kid's gonna be to find out that daddy got a new baby on the way and not with mommy. Okay? Daddy, how that happened? What you was doing? So you, you, you had a girlfriend, Daddy? So you, 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 ha you have to lie in this bed of bullshit you made and let it stink on up. That's what you have to do, whatever. It's like, ooh. And his mama gonna say, you know, I know you're a good man. He not. Martel is a pretty package on Christmas morning. Wrapped up all nice and tight on Christmas Day. And you open it, and it's a box of shit. You know, you can wrap shit up all nicely. It's still a box of shit. He's a box of shit wrapped up nicely on Christmas morning. Period. Okay, and it goes off. So we'll see what happens next week. With this foolishness and whatnot. Okay, anyway, I'm done. Like the video, comment the comment section, follow me on social media, check the description box or whatever. I will talk to y'all later. Peace.